Yeah, the, uh, t well, obviously the story of the game tonight was Coach Shea. Oh boy, their kid was good, wasn't he? Man, he was outstanding. You're, you're probably looking at one of the, the next really outstanding pitchers in the SEC and their kid, Tyler. I mean, he gets on 96 miles an hour in the eighth inning after he's over 100 pitches. Once his secondary pitches continue to develop, I think you're, you're talking about a kid that's really, really good. I mean, a top caliber SEC pitcher. And, uh, you know, he met the challenge tonight. You know, we didn't get much against him. And then, um, you know, Jared Poche was just awesome. You know, I mean, you saw, you saw the evolution of an SEC pitcher on our on our side, <laughs> no, I can't help it. He was joking about he's, you when you were not. Great sound, but I got ruined. <laughs> God. Hey, why does it take you so damn long to get down here? Huh? Do I have hey, to like wait? It's, for it's you? 2014. I have to I, post I got, a game or immediately. What do I do? I feel like say? I have to like wait for uh, say things eight times. <laughs> Well, what did you say the evolution of an SEC pitcher? Well, you just saw you saw a guy that had great command. He uh, he, he threw his fastball in it in with a, with extra incentive. You know, he was finishing his pitches. His pitches had life on him. He threw curveballs for strikes whenever he wanted to. He made big pitches when he needed to. I mean, that's the that's the kid that was the Gatorade Player of the Year in Louisiana last year. That's a kid that pitched his high school to a state championship. And you see what he can do. You know, he he doesn't have the overpowering stuff like their kid did. I mean, this, their kid was throwing ten miles an hour harder than than, than Poche, but he outpitched him ever so slightly. But he outpitched him, and you know, it just you know, we, we needed to have somebody win a game for us other than Aaron Nola. And it, it, it I'll sleep well tonight knowing that Jared Poche is on our team. What, what was, was his reaction difference in the, the two pitchers? What was the slight difference? But you know, why was Jared able to? Uh, we we got a couple of breaks. You know, really, I, I'm trying to remember how we scored the runs. It seemed like a long time ago. They didn't turn the double play. They didn't turn the double play. That that allowed the one run to score. And how did the other run score, Scooter? Yeah, after uh, it was an well, error. Kramer got on on an error, and then Laird. Yeah, and then Laird got the base hit, and the kid fumbled the ball. It might have been a close play. So. You know, in, in these tight ball games, this you know, in this modern era of college baseball, the the game comes down to one or two little things like that, and it came out in our favor today. There, I don't know what the strikeouts and all that other stuff was, but I mean, their kid pitched well enough to win. Obviously, we're very fortunate to win that game. You said before the season that you know, Jared was something special. To have him, to see him pitch a game like this, and kind of vindicate that a little bit. I mean, uh -huh. how does that make you feel? Well. <laughs> I'm not looking for vindication. I just want to win games, you know. And he pitched well enough to help us win the game today. Um, you know, I, I've been in this business a long time. I, I know what athletes are, and I know what winners are. And I knew Jared Poche was a winner. I hope that his stuff was good enough to compete at this level. You know, he's not throwing 97. He's throwing 87. So, you know, is his stuff good enough? I mean, he's got to be able to get both pitches over for strikes, mixing a change up. He's got to feel his position. He's got to do a lot of the little things in order for, for him to win, and he did all those things tonight. The confidence you had in him to let him go out and start the night. Yeah. Well, I just I just felt that, that he was the right guy. I, I was afraid what they would do if I brought in Joe, that they would pinch hit for their nine-hole guy, and Brent, they got a little short left-handed kid, and I didn't want Joe to have to come in and throw strikes on a small target right away. So I, I felt confident that Poche could get that kid, and he did. And then, he, you know, the, the, the leadoff hitter, yeah, I think he struck him out two or three times already ran. But the kid, you know, got a first pitch fastball and got a base hit. And then, you know, I wanted to leave him for the lefty. I, I felt confident. I wanted to not let the guy steal second base. And the left-handed pitcher, I thought, could have helped that situation. And then I figured that the kid wasn't going to hit a double to score the run. And then that was going to be his last batter no matter what. You get two standing ovations for both starting pitches. That's a, kind of a rare thing. Well, like you know, I think it's a testament to our fans here. You know, they, they appreciate good baseball. And they respect our opponents. They love our kids, so it was uh, it was nice to see. You know, their kid deserved it. You know, Nola got a nice standing ovation last week in Vienna, but I think it's great to see good sportsmanship throughout the week. Getting that first series one for you guys? Yeah, it was great. You know, to win a series, uh, you know, we I tell you, we take it one step at a time. You know, the first goal was to not get swept. That's how you when you win one game. The second goal is to win a series. Now we finally have it teed up for us. Now we got to finish the job. And, you know, you don't ever use to say sweep until you win two games in a row. But, you know, championships can be won on Sundays. And, you know, we, we don't, you know, we're in a, big, we're in a difficult situation because our third starting pitcher is out. So we're going to have to figure something out for tomorrow. 
So uh, you know what I'm going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> you arrange one. Who's going to start yeah. Tuesday at Tulane? <laughs> you know, I have that already figured out. No, no. I mean, I you was, guys decided I was, about Sunday. Four minutes. I uh, I was busting on you before you gave her. Where's Ross? I know he's going to ask who's starting tomorrow, and if he pitches good, we'll be in the rotation for the rest of the year. Um, I, I don't know yet. I'm going to I'm going to go talk inside and talk to AD, and I promised the uh, coach from. Um, Georgia, well, I would text him. Late. No, he's not even on the eligible roster. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know who's going to pitch yet. AD and I are going to go talk about it, and uh, and then I'll text their coach later tonight, and I'll let Bill Franklin know, and he can let you guys know. So please, I know.